a professor and students. Legal status of students attending a higher education institution under the Constitution are recognized as adults. Therefore, they will have the rights and responsibilities of adults under many state laws. The First Amendment to the United States Constitution protects the rights to free speech. One of several laws that protect students' rights and in fact the rights of everyone. This basically means that students are allowed to express their opinions without fear of retribution. Both private and public con institutions have contractual relationships with students. The student housing contract, food service contract, and loan agreement are some common examples of contractual relationships, which is a contract between two or more parties which allows or restricts them from engaging in certain acts. Courts are also responsible for viewing the student handbook as a contract. The first source of legal guidance should problem arise would be the written contract. Students' relationships with each other are framed by tort law and criminal law. The code of conduct and housing laws to which is specific to a certain institution should be adhered. There are certain instances, however, where universities become liable to student-to-student -student actions. Family Education Rights and the Privacy Act, also known as FERPA, places limitations on what some colleges could disclose and the handling of students' work. FERPA establishes three rights for students. The right to inspect their own records, request corrections to records if they were written incorrectly, and restrict access of the files to others. Student affairs professionals should always make sure they are adhering to these rights as well. They have access to student records and should make sure they are only accessible to the student or in some situations, institutions. In order for any institution or university to do well, it must be grounded by certain beliefs, principles, and values. This is something we discussed in the beginning of the, of the college course when we talked about vision and mission statements. So it's very important that we understand and know what our university's vision and mission statements are. As a student affairs professional, we live and breathe by these statements and this is how we can make sure the students also are living and breathing by the statements as well.